exciting to be here. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Richard and Kevin and Brittany and the whole GLEX community uh, for the warm invite here at the hospitality the last couple of days uh, and the stories have been truly thrilling and inspirational. Uh, as mentioned, I'm Michael Altno from the Director of Human Space Flight Sales and Products at SpaceX and for the past 14 years I've had the privilege to be a part of the SpaceX story and a part of some of SpaceX's key technologies in various capacities from development of our Falcon 9 landing system in the Atlantic to the Dragon spacecraft recovery in the Pacific to building our launch sites as a structures and fluid engineer to managing our critical resupply missions to the International Space Station for NASA and now working on new opportunities within human spaceflight. Now I think to many of us in this room when we look up to the stars and we wonder it's, it's, a, it's a very shared curiosity that we all have and I think at some point in our lives, space exploration has impacted us or impressed upon uh, that type of inspiration. And, and for me, that came, that love of spaceflight came in eighth grade, where I had the opportunity to be a part of a shuttle mock-up experience during the John Glenn mission on SDS-95. And that inspiration and energy has really carried with me and in my work that I do at SpaceX, finding new human spaceflight possibilities, and also in my personal life, through my adventures in flying and mountaineering. And as explorers, we're constantly seeking that next ridgeline, that next summit, the deepest depth, and the next discovery. And at SpaceX, that's something we strive for every day. Check ground stations. SpaceX was founded in 2002 with the sole purpose of making life multiplanetary. And every advancement that the space community has made in the past 50 plus years has taken us one step closer. And we're now at a point in time where 
humanity has the resources, the knowledge, and skills to do so. Yet, out of the 8 billion of us on planet Earth, only 12 have stepped foot on the moon. This is mind-blowing. This is something that we would think would be common at this point in time if we looked at past predictions. While getting to space is tough and hard, though, we are doing it. We are advancing our rockets, our spacecraft, and the technology needed to take us uh, out into deep space and make ourselves multi-planetary. And over a six-year period, between an amazing public-private partnership between SpaceX and NASA, the first commercial full crew transport vehicle was developed. And on May 2020, we conducted our first test flight with NASA, where we took two, two pilots to the International Space Station. This marked an historic moment in time where now we have commercial access to space that's no longer solely in the domain of the world's superpowers, affording greater access to space. And that's just what we've done since. The first all-civilian space flight took place in September of 2021, where four individuals with no prior spa human space flight experience took to orbit on a three-day mission 550 kilometers above Earth, marking another key pivotal moment. I want you to think about this in this room. In under 12 months' time, you can now go to orbital, orbital space. This is something that is going to become even more greater access as time goes on. And as for the experience, let's take a look here at the crew checking oh out gosh. the view through the largest space window. I think the crew said it best there. Now, it, on, on this particular mission, since it's a free-flying mission not going to the International Space Station, we don't require the docking adapter on top of the Dragon spacecraft there. So in six months' time, our engineers design and develop the world's largest space window to put on top, which makes for quite the inspirational view there. Also in the, in the past year, with our partnership with Axiom Space, we've flown six private individuals and two uh, space agency astronauts to the International Space Station. And with the most recent mission, Axiom 2, completing in just the last couple weeks here. And on top of that, in the past three years, there's been 10 human space flight missions with over 38 humans to, to uh, space. Good morning, welcome aboard. Dragon, SpaceX, Comchat, ground stations. SpaceX Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off of the Falcon Line and Crew Dragon. Go NASA, go SpaceX. It's unmatched the enthusiasm here, the expertise, the knowledge, the vigor, the energy. By working together through these difficult times, you've inspired the nation, the world. Dragon was requested to do a backflip. This is the largest window ever flown in space. 
on behalf of the SpaceX and NASA teams, welcome back to planet Earth. Thanks for flying SpaceX. That's where we've been, so let's take a look at where we're going. Starting this fall, SpaceX will be widening our astronaut training candidate program. And this program will be focused for early folks that are looking, that are serious in, in orbital spaceflight. This will be a four week training program where folks will undergo human spaceflight 101, high G, low G training, along with medical suit and seat sizing. They'll have access to our world class astronauts and subject matter experts on our vehicles. Also, Later this year, we'll perform our first commercial space block with the Polaris Dawn mission with Commander Mr. Jared Isaacman, where two crew members will egress the forward end of Dragon. On top of this, this mission will aim to be the highest mission by altitude for civilians. Also, we'll be taking our Starlink communication system and testing it on this flight. And of course, Starship. Now, when you go to Mars, you don't want to go in a tiny vehicle, right? You want to go in a jumbo jet with 100 of your most favorite Explorer friends in the room here, right? That's how you want to get to Mars, and that's Starship. Starship is the fully integrated vehicle between the super heavy booster and the Starship vehicle. That's what will take us to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship recently completed its first test flight in April of this year, where we gained invaluable test flight data and we're aiming for our second test flight in one to two months from now. Attention all operators on countdown one. We're going to start our go, no, go poll for today's flight. Raptor one, go. Raptor two, go. Stage one, go. Good morning. On your screen is Starship as it awaits our first ever integrated flight test from Starbase, Texas. Flight directors, go for flight. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, two, one. We have the top.
life is definitely much more exciting when the future is, has, is fully inspiring. And um, I want to thank you guys all today for having me here. And I, I welcome continuing the conversation. So thank you very much. Thank you.